Hi, I'm going to show you how to create and use an SSH key pair for use with RackCam, but it works fine with Bianca too. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the steps in the UpMax documentation. You can see the URL here. Um, and let's just do it. So there will be, just looking at the page, there will be like three steps in generating a key, adding it to some kind of SSH agent, whatever that is and then copying it. But let's first see if it works. So what I'm going to do is, uh, because the goal of using an SSH key, the goal of using an SSH key is that you can log in to RackM easier without typing your password. So if I do now, now do I, if I do reshell at rackm.upmax.uu.se, so when I when you log in like this, then you'll be asked the password, and I can type it in, um, and then I am on RackM. But the idea is to use an SSH key instead of the password. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow these steps, and then you'll see I can log into RackM without typing in my password. So uh, let's uh, copy paste this thing. There. Uh, so let's go through it. It's called SSH key gen. It generates a key. There's some kind of security measure, the amount of rounds it is generated using this type of algorithm. The file will be stored here in your home folder slash the hidden folder SSH and it will be called ID at the algorithm upmax login and dash capital C is you can comment. You can put a comment in that file so you can know uh, what it does just by looking at the content. So we call it reshells key to webmax. There. It asks me if I want to overwrite the existing file. I'll do that. And I give no passphrase. Um, yeah, like it asks me if I wanted to overwrite my old, old file. Yeah, sure. Because um, I probably prepared this video and this file was already there. I just create a fresh key for this video. All right, then I get some info here. I'm going to ignore all that. Uh, I'm just going to go to the next step. So let's do this. I just copy paste it and see what happens. It's added, uh, whatever that it means. And now I'm going to copy this key to the Rackham server. Uh, username must be your username, sure, 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 I can do that, Richelle, that's it. Um, also note that this is the, the file we have been using all the time, you can also see it here. So I use constantly the same file name, else of course it would not work. Let's see. Alright. Um, so it's trying to do stuff, uh, it asks for my password, sure I can do that. Now try logging into the machine. It seems it has worked. Oh, let's do it. Reshell.rackcam.upmax.uu.se And if it worked, I'm not asked for a password. I directly get in. Well, that is too bad. Because I am again... Oh. I am again asked for a password. So that is too bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, yeah, so it does not work. Um, I know I saw that they put this around the thing. So let's try this again now. So I conclude that if you follow this guide, um, then you cannot log into RackCam without specifying a password. So that means I could not get it to work. So if you cannot get it to work, um, you're not alone. Right. Maybe the problem is that I'm using uh, Ubuntu, like the new version at uh, 2404, Noble Nimbat, uh, with this background. Uh, maybe that it doesn't work anymore or things have changed on RackCam, I just don't know. Uh, maybe because I needed to use a VPN, because there was two-factor authentication. I don't know. It doesn't work. So with that I conclude this video and I wish you a very good day. Bye!